Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. If you're new here, my name is Tamara. On today's video, we're going to be doing a furniture flip and we're going to be following DIY's furniture painting steps. If you're not familiar with DIY Wife, then go to YouTube. Well, you're on YouTube. After my video, search DIY Wife. Her and her husband put out these super entertaining, informative videos. I love them so much, but she's been painting furniture for years. And I thought, well, her pieces look amazing. Why don't I try her technique? So if you sign up for her email list, she'll send you a PDF of all her furniture painting steps one by one and she's pretty thorough but also when you watch her videos she explains everything step by step as she's going so you can get a really good idea of what she's doing there too so let's talk through what you're going to see first my husband and i went to salvation army because of course i went there on a saturday when it was 25 percent off the entire store you're going to see us pull a couple of dressers out of the back of his vehicle we have a honda element that thing can haul this video is the smaller dresser and I paid $40 for it. If I hadn't already said that, I paid 65 for the larger one. So basically DIY wife has some steps that she breaks it down for you. It's um, basically clean, sand, prime, paint, top coat, and then choose hardware. She makes these custom bases for her dressers, which are amazing. And I think they're so pretty. Um, I'm not quite to that skill level yet, but heh. Maybe one day. So first step, you're going to see me in this footage vacuuming the piece um, I'm using a really good industrial strength cleaner to give it a good wipe down and really get it good and clean and then I use uh, fresh water like clear water to rinse it off clear water fresh water what am I trying to say plain water I use, I use plain water and I rinse it off and You'll see me using Bondo to repair a lot of the parts on this dresser that needed repair. There were like some wooden plugs covering some screws on the base and all the wooden plugs weren't there so I filled those holes with Bondo and then I fill the hardware holes with Bondo because I'm not going to be using the same hardware. I'm going to replace it for something I found on Amazon which I'll talk about a little bit later. around the drawers this first time I've used a tape dispenser like this it was a little bit of a learning curve honestly but it's not super sticky either 
I don't know. Have you guys used this scotch blue? Like, I think it's for drawers. Have you used that before? I just, I don't know. I'm not super impressed. But it is awful windy today. And then I'm going to put a good coat of primer. One coat um, of the Ben Shellac based primer on everything. And while I'm doing that, I need to charge my camera. So that's kind of why I'm showing you guys this. I'll show you when I'm done with the primer, what that looks like. Now in this little snippet, I'm using my sprayer at first and I try a couple of different ones I have. The first one was uh, clogged with latex paint so it really didn't work. The second one I pulled out, I really, I've had trouble with it since I bought it. So scratch that. At this point you're going to see me after that in the casita finishing this baby up by hand because my sprayers just weren't working. What, what did I learn from this experience with my sprayers? I probably need to buy a better sprayer. Yeah, I think that would be a really good idea. So let's head into the casita and get this piece finished up. I can't wait for you guys to see what it turns out looking like. This is the top coat that I almost always use guys and DIY wife actually recommends this as well. I think she uses it almost all the time. I like the, um, I really like the clear matte and then she also uses the flat, but I've never used the flat before, but I almost exclusively use this anyway, as well as, um, sweet Pickens top coat. You've seen me use that before too, which is also really, really good. And what I like about this is that it's not going to yellow ever, ever, ever. Like I've used other water-based top coats that yellow and it's so disappointing, especially when you're working with a white piece. So I, that's why I really, really love this stuff. And you can find this at Lowe's. I got this off of Amazon actually, but like I said before, I will link it. Are the drawers with their liners in I think it's making it so much more pulled together looking and yeah totally worth just uh, it probably took me an hour hour and a half of extra time just to get those lined real quick here's the hardware I got this off of Amazon um, I got 12 pieces for oh uh, I don't know 20 some dollars but as always I will link everything I possibly can for you guys down in the description box, but they're just these sweet little leather poles. And I was gonna put two to a drawer, but I think that'll look a little too um, cluttered. So I'm gonna do one to a drawer. So this is the very last step we have, and I think this is really gonna pull it together. I'm super excited about this hardware.
Okay, so the hardware's on. It's all cleaned up. Everything's finished. It looks amazing. So I, again, would like to thank you guys for stopping by. Hit that subscribe button if you at all enjoyed this video. And I'm going to now show you the before real quick again so we can see and be reminded of what it looked like. And I will tell you, this isn't like a precious antique. This is just an everyday piece of furniture that needed a little bit of refresh, a little bit of love. And so let's take a look at the before real quick and then let's take a look at the after. Tam, huh? Yeah. You look hot. Oh. Oh. I'm really hot. Sweating profusely. Thank you for noticing. You're welcome. Oh my god, I'm so sweaty. <gasps> Why am I doing this outside? Because it's pretty. Okay. Let's do this. Wind is blowing my camera. Can you shh? Why stop? Stop doing that. So let's talk through what you're going to see here first. Oh, wind. What is happening? You guys sick yet? It won't go tight. It won't do it. Stupid wind. What you doing, Abby? Were you licking my toes while I was filming? Yes. Yes, Mommy, I was. Well, thank you. That was not distracting at all. Am I sitting in your, in your spot? Abby. You're so sweet. Look at that precious face. Where's your brother? Um.